Yeah. Do you understand that? That's how, and it's not their fault. They never had any money anyway. Some of the most, some of the godliest people that I've ever met. My dad and my mom have both passed away. The year that my mom passed away, I was in Ukraine. And I'd always wondered when my parents went, where would I be? And I, I remember saying to myself, almost sarcastically to God, I'll bet you I'm going to be overseas. My wife called me, she was at home, said, Ron, your mother is, is ill. She's being taken to the hospital. Just by the tone of her voice, I, I believed her, but I knew there was more. Some minutes later, I don't know if it was minutes or hours, she called me, it was 12.30 at night or something. And she said, I'm sorry, Ron, but your mom is gone. I fought with God. I said, God, it's not fair. The next day, I went down to the church where they have 72 on staff, the largest church. Most of them, and that day, none of them were getting paid. And all I said, I came into his office and I said, Larry, my mom was gone last night. He drug me out into the open room, and within a minute, more than 70 people surrounded me. And then God spoke to me and he said, now where could be more home than this? The elder church. And they just wept like it was their mother. And they kept saying, Ron, we love you so much. And after that morning, I knew that everything would be okay. And everything was okay. I'm about done. Except that you got a brochure when you came in. Uh, most people use inserts for coloring on. Well, please don't do that because they cost money. And um, when I came in this morning, I think about as many people greeted me by my first name than probably any church that I go to. I'm amazed at how many, and I, I don't think it's something, I don't think I've been here that many times, but you don't know what it's like, how, how wonderful it is for for a, a traveler to come into a church and feel like a home, like you made me, my wife feel like home this morning. Um, there's a place on there where you can receive our newsletter. Anybody who receives it um, has told me that they enjoy it. We need prayer. Uh, you can also receive a prayer book where we have picked the 31 most important people that we work with. And each month you go through it and you pray for that person. So you know sometimes it's good to pray for somebody else? Past you, past your church. And uh, if you would like to receive that, just just tear off the the, uh, the thing, the, the, you know, the brochure. It, it's got a tear off section. And I wreck one of these every week. Um, where is it? You just take that home and, and you can do a lot or a little, but I'd really love it if, if you already received the newsletter, then thank you. But if you'd like to receive it or whatever you want to do, the information is there. I've gone too long, your roast is 
burned. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you haven't gone too long, Ron. That was great. <laughs>